The big breaking news coming in from the Supreme Court, though unexpected lines, the Supreme Court has dismissed a convict a Pavan's a curative a plea. This is in the Nirbhaya case. This is the fourth death row convict, Pavan Gupta, who had also filed a curative petition before the Supreme Court. These are all the various uh, avenues that are available to those on death row. And one by one, each of them has uh, used this. And, uh, and of course, the Supreme Court has dismissed it. It was heard in the chambers uh, of the judges, as is the practice. And now this last curative petition has also been dismissed by the Supreme Court. Remember, uh, the death warrant ha that had been issued had said that all four would hang uh, on the 3rd of, of, of March. But uh, right now we'll have to wait and see whether this will lead to any sort of delay in the matter. This is the 2012 Nirbhaya gang rape and murder case. And... Um, <clears throat> I beg your pardon. And uh, remember, each of uh, the four convicts has uh, used this uh, avenue of filing a curative petition, a curative plea uh, before the Supreme Court that has actually led uh, to delays in the death warrant being carried out in the execution being, being carried. It's already been delayed two times and the latest date was for the 3rd of March. So we'll have to wait and see what happens next. But uh, for the moment, uh, Pavan Gupta, the fourth a convict in the Nirbhaya gang rape case had filed a curative petition and it was taken up by the bench of Justices N.V. Ramana, Arun Mishra, R.F. Nariman, R. Banumati and Ashok Bhushan in the chambers and it has now been dismissed. Pavan is 25 years old and a death warrant was issued for his execution along with the three others on the 3rd of March and he filed a curative plea through his lawyer A.P. Singh seeking settling aside of the Supreme Court's earlier verdict on appeals and review petitions in the case. Now, he is the last death row convict in the case to move the Supreme Court with this uh, curative plea. This is the final legal remedy available uh, to a person. Now, there's been a lot of outrage over the fact that since the uh, execution and the, the, the death sentence of the four was pronounced, there's been such a delay in the matter. But those who follow the legal uh, process say these are the various avenues uh, available uh, to these uh, two people on death row. These are... Uh, this is something provided to them under the law and if, uh, if, if, if after the outrage over this particular matter perhaps there will be a case to, uh, to make sure that things do not get as delayed as they have as many point out in the Nirbhaya case perhaps that has been some uh, a public sentiment on that regard as well remember we've been seeing those visuals of Nirbhaya's parents doing the rounds of the court getting disappointed each and every time. However, these legal remedies is something that is provided to all those on death row in other countries as well. It, it's very similar to this. Remember uh, in the Nirbhaya case, after all the outrage, all four were arrested and in fact sentenced to death within a year. So many uh, consider that in itself uh, a case in which the law had moved quite fast in, the, in this matter. But since then, it has been, uh, it's been uh, seven, eight years now and still waiting for that final word on the execution of the four men convicted in the Nirbhaya gang rape and murder.